Well, welcome to another Guns Contractors video. This one is slightly different um, in that it doesn't involve any machinery, but something else that uh, I've certainly been looking at in quite a lot of detail um, the last sort of year or so, um, and that is improving the way that I go about uh, setting out a job. Uh, I've looked into um, potentially putting GPS on my little machines, which sounds ridiculous, but it, it, I think it could potentially add a lot of value um, on the right jobs. Um, possibly that's not the way um, to go, having done a lot of research and the, the types of environment that I work in. Um, so I've been also looking into um, essentially auto total stations, which is what this video is about. This is a Hilti one, and it's owned by the landscaper that I'm subcontracting to. We've been discussing between us uh, about how we can improve things. You know, we spend a lot of time pulling tapes trying to get lines in across quite large distances in some of these gardens and lining, um, paving up and all this sort of stuff. And so we're looking to, to kind of improve that. And he has gone um, down the uh, the Hilti total station route. Uh, I was looking into the Leica system as well and haven't played with that yet, but I'm looking to um, in the future. So a uh, bit of a uh, short video really on, on how I found it to use on his job. Um, we have by far not made the most of it and we've discovered, you know, as with everything, there's teething issues, um, issues with the drawings, issues with the information that we get given as contractors. It's just not supplied good enough uh, for this kind of kit. And yeah, I guess it's because designers um, don't think that, you know, we would need this kind of level of accuracy. So um, a bit of, bit of work to do um, on that front and I think the landscaping industry generally needs to kind of uh, up its game in, in that way, especially if uh, some of us are going to move on with um, more technical kind of kits, set things out. Because uh, of course traditionally we would have used tape measures, um, you know, string lines and scale rules, which is, I mean, you just can't be accurate enough, but it didn't really matter as long as the thing looked right, right, that's essentially it. But trying to improve that, trying to speed things up. Um, and yeah, this is this is my initial thoughts um, on the um, sort of automatic total stations that are available now, um, in this instance, by Hilti. I um, hope you enjoy what I've got to say. Um, as I say, just ran through the, the basic things that I have done with it. Um, but yeah, hopefully uh, in the future, I'll, I'll have some more opportunities to review or use really uh, and give my kind of feedback and, and how I found it on, on this kind of kit because I know I'm not going to be the only person out there looking to um, get away from tape measures and, and improve the, the way that they, they do things. So yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. Um, please keep subscribing because that gives me a bit more leverage to um, be able to test things like this and, uh, and get that kind of content out, out to you guys. So uh, thank you very much for that. So this is a video with the Hilti PLT 300 um, sort of automatic total station. Um, and I'm no expert on this kit at all. This is my first time really using this sort of stuff. When I used to work on site, obviously you had engineers and they dealt with this kind of thing. I know the basics of how it works and I know what I want to achieve out of them. But um, yeah, using this kit to me is uh, is sort of all very new. So bear with me i don't know the answer to all the questions um although i is something that i am very interested and keen in learning more about um essentially you've got your total station which as long as you can set it up um, with a view of your control points some on this garage one on this little hut here and one on the house then you can gain control of your site you know where you are or it knows where it is within the site you can then use the tablet to um, pick points essentially as we have on this edging here. And you can see all these pins along here. Um, that's how we've used it. Now you may well, and you definitely can use it for an awful lot more things, including levels and all sorts, but um, you of course need the right information uh, on the drawing to do that. So uh, this is a very brief, basic introduction to how I found using this bit of kit. Um, and yeah, that's uh, not, not much more than that, because to be honest, I am far from an expert but looking to be. So um, Hilti system, it's all new to me. I've done, seen and done a little bit of research on the Leica system, which I would also be keen to use um, and give it a go. But this is how I found using this kind of new modern tech 
um, to help us get a job done quicker. So I'm trying to film this without a ridiculous amount of glare, which is going to be pretty hard, but essentially you've got, um, uh, gone wrong here, uh, you've got these icons across the top, really straightforward, projects are in there, obviously you can have multiple jobs, multiple drawings within those jobs, we've selected the right one. Uh, stationing, so this is where you would uh, you would go to make sure your um, your total station is it knows where it is within the site essentially, um, and you have to make sure you're looking at the right type of reflector um, that you've got positioned. Um, so that might be uh, one of the little marks in the ground, um, or it could be a, a reflector you've got stuck on a building, like we have round round here. Um, once you once you have those control points set up, this is all very, very straightforward to, to use. Um, you can pretty much dump that anywhere as long as you've got sights of where you want to be. Um, we've got some set places, these little white flags you'll see, but um, that's just to make it easier for us. You could virtually stick it anywhere in the job as long as it can see three or more of these. So we've got a couple over here, got one on this little hut here, got one on the building. Um, and then it knows where it is. Um, and once you've dealt with all of that, you can go to layout. Uh, now this is the drawing essentially, and it's all touchscreen, zoom in. Um, you can see all these black dots, which look like an absolute mess at the moment. Um, they, are, uh, they are all layout points um, that we, we've already got um, sort of set up on this line. So this is telling me now how far away I am from that one I just pressed, but um, it, it, these these lines on the drawings, essentially we've given these a, a meter um, mark every meter on them, which you can literally click on the line and go, I want one every meter, um, and that's given us our pin positions for uh, all of this metal edging here, which is the whole point of the job. So there's a few things you've got to do. You've got to keep this thing upright. It's got a little um, level here. Um, obviously, it needs a line of sight to the reflector. Um, but otherwise you can um, you can basically pick out a point you want to set out and that could be you know any any of these we could give this corner here a layout position for example or um, you know or, or this radius here of, of whatever this paving or, or whichever um, you can give these all points tell it how many you want on that radius um, as I say we've done it every meter on this drive probably a bit overkill really and we've also given them offsets so there's the internal ones of the actual driveway line and then the the, the ones on the outer are, are a half a meter offset from that um, which we did just initially for the for the dig out uh, and then you can take this this thing and it'll actually tell you um, as you get closer um, which we'll uh, we'll try and do now which will be a bit of fun one-handed um, so you've got to walk Bring in mind you need line of sight to that thing, right? Um, and it sort of shows you, you see the purple line, which way you're facing. So this is really difficult one-handed, but you can tell I'm getting there, starting to get there now. Um, so I need to go a bit this way. And as you get closer, it zooms in more and it then tells you uh, what your position is. In fact, this is one of the offset pins. What I'll do is I'll pick one of the one of the ones that's actually got a pin in it so you can see how we've set these pins out here this should take me take me to one of those so as we get closer you can see it literally just talks you in um, gets even closer and you can you know you can get bang on now the key with this is getting the thing upright because look it looks like I'm in the right place but because I'm holding it one-handed I'm nowhere near level so um, that's the key the key is getting it level and, and it'll do this to I mean like one mil it's incredibly accurate of course it all depends on the setting out positions you have um, you know if your control points are accurate within the drawing then you gain some accuracy here uh, where we have struggled a bit um, is initially on this drawing it wasn't particularly what they call clean so um, there are areas and I'll try and find one now uh, where this line is uh, not quite joining. See here, it's not quite joining. And I mean, that's microscopic on this, you know, overall drawing here, but it's quite significant. There's a Chinook going overhead now, typically. 
So you've got to make sure you've got the cleanest possible drawing really because if you get these lines that they don't connect then when you go to tell like this radius for example you know I want one every meter or two meters or whatever you know a position on it, um, it, it if it's not the same line it'll only do it for the bit of line that you've selected not all of it even though it all looks like um, a continuous line at this scale when you zoom in on it um, they're just not joined and, and that's really where we've struggled on here same with it all depends on your survey drawing you need a, a, the accurate a survey drawing as you can get because if if these buildings aren't quite in the right place um, and we struggled a bit with uh, with this building here um, getting this initial control point set up it, it's it's just a nightmare to gain control in the site um, and use your you know basically get your total station set up within the job so you need an accurate um, existing survey done really um, hopefully you can sometimes use their control points we couldn't here because they put them on wood and that's just ridiculous you can't trust that at all so um, yeah there's a few things you need to know if you're gonna run with this kind of tech um, I'm very very inexperienced with it this is the sort of first time uh, we've used it a couple times in this job but it's the first time I've used it on this project um, seems a good system seems pretty straightforward to use um, it's really easy even if you lose your um, uh, your like vision of this basically because of a tree or a branch or something you know there's a lot of scrub around here um, it's not too hard to get it to reconnect and providing you don't go running across the site it um, it will follow you uh, follow you along on its own which is absolutely brilliant um, it's massively improved the ability for us I mean we'd have done this with string lines and tapes before and there's no way you'd have got this point within this job I mean where would you have pulled a tape from you know a string line there's just nowhere so it's a, a real win for us um, and yeah I look forward to using it a bit more and learning a lot more about how uh, this can help us because I'm sure there's a whole load of stuff that you can do here that you, you know I just don't know because we haven't needed to on this job and you've got to start somewhere right but uh, yeah it's it's been a really cool tool to use and uh, I know there are other options uh, Leica do one which I've been looking into um, this isn't owned by me of course it's, uh, it belongs to the landscape company that I uh, am subcontracting to. Um, we've been discussing it, um, me and the owner, for a while about how to improve things and possibly going the GPS route and things, but the trees we've got just can't, can't go for that. Um, so we've, or well, he's decided to go with uh, this system, which, uh, you know, I've been looking into as well, the, the auto total station. And yeah, first job out, uh, we're impressed. It's, um, it's doing exactly what it, what it should do and pretty straightforward to use to be honest once you know the basics and again have gained control of the site that's the key that we found here um, we need better quality set out drawings um, you know better quality designs really the design is good but the way that they draw it is not it's probably not good enough for us so we need um, you know a, a better quality cleaner drawing which would probably take a couple of hours in the office really to um, in AutoCAD just to you know join up these little lines there's another one just there look just not quite joined up um, uh, you know that's this drawing is riddled with those problems and we can make it work but it's a lot easier if all of that is um, you know is tidied up so um, yeah that's what I've learned um, so far with the with the old turtle station um, cool bit of kit and look forward to um, the future of not using a tape measure. Beautiful.